lock and load. So what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is CW Game Master and I salute you from Amsterdam. Today we continue with the awesome game of Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation 4 Pro. This is my full playthrough part 57. Nice. So let's chit chat. You're free to Hodiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised to wiggle, wiggle. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Well, don't we all? Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful parts. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Heinous or an anus? Something attacked you from underground. Oh, oh you picked no. that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all I could be so lucky, 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 lucky. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. Uh -huh. That's all I can offer, friend. I hate those I promise those to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. Kill the machine in the pass. Hey, there's something around here. there okay first we save and then we go No, and I'm dead again. They is so fast every time. I hate those monsters.
Yeah, that was stupid. Got it. Got it. Nice. Oh, might need that. Mm -hmm. I hate those animals. Always did and always will. Bright light, bright light. By the radiant sun, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. Nope. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Wadiv? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Something is about to happen. They're coming. Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carter and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore. Carefully. Come on, your highness. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Place traps? What do you mean? Some traps would be nice. Here's good.
Take cover up there, behind that rock. Here they are. Let's make it hurt, shall we? Where are they then? Okay, no more sneaking. Well, that was entertaining, but I suspect we're not done. More of the bastards, get ready. Gotta be. Can't see them. Hmm. What if we tried this? Cool. Oh. Seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. For all you have to wait then, my lady. I'm getting everything back. Come on. Saving these for the trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stocking up. Got it. Thank you. My lady. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. Tender job. F serious. It's a cool one. That's a really cool one. Wait a minute. I need a different weapon. 
Uh, no. Yes. Get it. Foul beast. Come on. You're going down. going down. Oh yeah. Dinner jaws are gone. We got it. Yeah, baby, we got it. There we are. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? All aboard!
Maybe you've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is just a dream. Nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise. There's something weird going on. Deep Secrets of the Earth? What kind of a quest is that? That's a long way. Well, you wears. Let me sell some stuff because I have so much. Uh, we will not sell this. We will sell this. Blase, blase. What do I need? I need a fox skin. F serious. Only the finest goods here, see? No, I'm 
not gonna do that. So, let's continue my journey. I need some transportation and I need it fast. Web it. Stocking up. Mm -hmm. It's another one. Skin. Never know when I might need these. Mm -hmm. You never know. So, no wildlife that can help me out? I really don't want to run all the place. Serieus gewoon. with those crocs
move. Nice and slowly. Come on, big boy. Gotcha. Now you go fight for me. Go get him, boy. No more trouble. Thank you. Here, a horsey. Go. Get him. That's a old Saudi eye. Come on, just go. No, I don't want this. Come on. There's my right. Go, my friend. On you go. Let's 
see you catch up. They won't. Excuse me. No! Now we have to go down. Almost died. Come on. Here we are. down i've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world where the machines came from how the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death a lifetime of failure as year by year decade after decade i hit walls i could not break doors i could never breach Hello. until a nora huntress marched out of the savage east and voila, voila. for her all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Well, it knows oh, me. For item to scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Again. Malfunction. Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Whoa. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped so where are we going now welcome to project zero dawn Zero huh? Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Anything else? Just 
gonna go in there. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Hey. A smaller room. This is a big one. No. It's going too quick, huh? So what is Project Zero Dawn? Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CDN1 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing Whoa. will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But so we get it. The graphic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Wow. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. Whoa. Out. So I think they did something with DNA. Stored it. Somehow. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. Huh? I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Oh. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Uh, 
is accurate, Heard yes. Something. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them? Not just people. All organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Uh, doctor, uh, please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! What the hell is going on? Want to discuss? Whew. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and lake of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. No monstrous dark speaking of which, keep us from this girl. My name is smoke. A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments to your team trapped me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me. Don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. Uh oh. Someone. How did you finger me? We're too close to the I believe Doctor Sobert listed you as an alpha candidate. The data points. What do you do? Snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a... A Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is... is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, alright? 
if you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. What the hell? Who previously worked for Faro Automated Systems? On the chariot line self replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since. since, uh. Would you like to take a moment? No, no, no. I, I just. I really hoped. Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but to really sell a concept and and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm? The pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai. My friends, my family, they have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? Probably. We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Initiating playback. Now, what's happening now? You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? No. What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. Smart move. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's wow. just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. But it's now, dangerous. over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission oh, wow. arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. 
From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas. To the regreening oh, of the wow. Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks. To rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Wow, so cool. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Mm -hmm. Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life. For us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? Why does it want to kill of me? Of course I'll do it. And Apollo, Did you give me the opportunity to rebuild the archive what I, of knowledge, uh, what happened to that? The damage? I'm as confused as you are. I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it. it. Absolutely. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Mm -hmm. Security, for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought, I thought you people were just complete. Stranded shekels. Okay. These will keep. Something will happen, probably. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die.
is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Power's down. Was it decided by committee? By route? algorithm? I've done this before. My family will be Just saved because be I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day? I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Here we go. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'll be called an these. abomination back home, and you, you know it. To find the right configuration. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. She chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Yeah, Should yeah, body, body, body. the assignment, Mr. Tate. Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. I'm not seeing anything. Now oh, up, left, down. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. I should check the door nearby. Found one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's Hot get that door down. open.
right up. Why is it not working? Up, left, down, right, up. Why is this not working? Up, left, down, right, up. Down, left, up. That's not it. Why isn't this working? It's not working. Why isn't this working? What am I doing wrong? Up, left, down. Right, up. This is the right combination. Up, left, down, right, up. Why is this combination not working? Hey, Jimmy, what is up? Well, that's what, that's what I was thinking, but I did that. Because here it says up, left, down, right, up. And I did it from this side. Up, left, down, right, up. And that isn't working. So if I do it from this place... Oh, you mean the opposite what's there. Let's see. Down. Right. So, down is up, so right becomes left, left, and up becomes down. That's not working either. That's not working either. Oh, but maybe because that ferro is upside down, you mean. So, from the bottom, up becomes down. Right becomes left. Probably right. Down becomes up. Left becomes right. That did it. That's it. Oh, thanks for the tip, Jimmy. Now Thank you, man. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there, second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Can't we just kill them?
Okay, here we go. Just moved. Why? So how will I be able to get up there, huh? Concentrate on your target! Good. Everybody has to wait now. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As a name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. 
the rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. That's dangerous. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a mastersmith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Hmm. Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Protecting why itself. Indeed. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Maybe not, but hey. Why can't I scan it, huh? I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. More Eclipse. Careful now. Wait up. Go back. Oh, I've been here before. Okay. Something is about to happen. Okay. Probably where I came from. Yep. 
Yep. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. How do you do that? 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome. And let, let us begin. begin. Well. Oh, enemies. Nothing here but echoes. Oh, it's busy down here. How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. Well, if you say so, my friend. something
almost always said, patience. That's the last of them. Alone once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to... Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, Odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere you're growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. And what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Oh, well, that's what Hades which is. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Whoa. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how... Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the alpha in charge of this program. Now let one...
can be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Whoa, 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 whoa. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. Insurmountable. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, oui, oui. Let us begin. Bien sûr. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. We'll find it. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is... Give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. There shouldn't be a kill switch. There shouldn't be a kill switch. would benefit from antilopony morphologies, though Kempert forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, something. as I have conducted something. this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... Unaccountably Whoa, whoa, sad, whoa! ...that they passed forever into oblivion... ...causes me to experience... ...a grief... ...that is difficult to describe. Am I not functioning? No. <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Well, you will undergo a 
brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... What if what? Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In Whoa. fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you? Then it's gone. Okay. Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Well, a machine. Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's a you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? To restore balance. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Who the hell is he? Who the hell is he? No, don't blow it up. Damn it. death in mind for you child if <laughs> serious my entire life I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty that I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamin was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. 
One twist. A simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Serious. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been holes, conquered, eh? so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then come cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. What a hole. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. Well, that's not true. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't oh, it? Oh, don't break it. And yet, so fragile. Klochak. <sighs> oh. 
So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Whoa. I'm in the arena now. Give me my weapon. I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this way. Maybe I could use the strength against it. How am I gonna do this? I 
blister on its belly. Looks important. Got it. Silence. That's how we do it. Uh oh. Wow, there he is! Get out. Oh, yeah. Thank you, my friend. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Nay. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll uh -huh. be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Oh, really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Wait. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. 
but your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Smart Truth be told, man. the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans, though of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. Uh -huh. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. Oh? You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. There isn't. Yeah! There isn't. Shadow Stalwart Light? What is that? Oh wow! Oh yeah, I like it. Oh, I have a long way to go. Well, off we go then. Come on. Everybody, I'm sorry to say, but that's it for today. My name is CW Game Master, and I salute you from Amsterdam. Please like, subscribe, and share. Put a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And like I always say, it started with Pong, and I'm still going strong. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Bye bye.